हेलो एवरीबॉडी माई सब डॉक्टर रंजन सरकार एंड आई उश यू ऑल ए वेरी वेरी हैप्पी बेंगोली न्यू ईयर वी उश दैट वी वुड बी हैप्पी बट वी आर नॉट हैप्पी राइट नाउ एंड नाउ आई एम डिस्कसिंग ऑन मास मीडिया एज एन इनफॉर्मल एजेंसी ऑफ एडुकेशन दिस क्लास इज फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी एड second semester and this is from the course 8a under unit 4 as we all know mass media is everywhere and especially this time the requirement of mass media has become more higher than usual and right now i am also taking the class using media devices so we have to know what is mass media what are the types of mass media and how mass media is helpful as an agency of education mass media or media is everywhere nowadays and it has become a integral part of our daily life nowadays the children who are growing up always they are going through and passing through and they are inside the media devices and gadgets attached very much with this device and this media play a dominant role in disseminating knowledge in disseminating information within a short span of time and its impact is very much than other usual medias so teleconferencing also a important part of technology and we are very much fond of this sort of technology especially this time so what is media the word media came from the latin plural medium media may refers to communication and what communication tools do communication tools are used to store and deliver information or data media are also instruments of communication which reach large number of people and pupil or students with a common message so what is media education the media rather mass media is the most powerful entity on earth right now they have the immense capacity to change anything to motivate anything media education is the process through which the individual become media literate what does it mean it means they would be able to critically understand the nature techniques and impacts of media messages and its production so media are the devices that assist and instructor to transmit to a learner like facts skills attitudes knowledge appreciation or additional information 
now we have to know how many types of medias are there there are actually two types of medias these are number one print media and under this category newspapers magazines books and other printed materials and the second category is electronic media and under this first electronic media was radio then television then came internet cinema and so on so these are electronic media now we have to know what is the role of media what should be the role of media in current scenario as we all know media disseminates information it could be a political awareness maybe education related maybe social awareness related and obviously media connects and communicates people with distant places using within few seconds so media media helps to reduce the distance and divides among various regions of a country or maybe the whole world and media is the only thing that nowadays those who have internet connection within a few seconds they could be connected with any person living anywhere in the world that is media or internet using internet media could be used as media could be working as an important role play an important role to make to get connection in between peoples and does makes our art a global village media also disseminates information on economic awareness entertainment related news and advertisement specifically this is most important so whenever we would like to see something on whatever the media may be we have to go through that what is meant fast and after that we will be able to watch this and media updated information and knowledge among peoples now the role of print media in education as we already know which are which one are print media so role of print media in the process of education is of immense importance print media like newspapers journals and magazines are the basic oldest channels of communication between one source to other print media are become are being printed in every regional languages to facilitate the readers and to get information and knowledge in one's own mother tongue this is most important in our country like india i have so many regional languages so many diversities are there so you all have to be aware what is going on in and around ourselves we must be aware about that so media is doing this job very accurately dr francis ackel once said newspapers are common man's university so this is most famous quotation of dr francis ackel common man's university those who had the opportunity of getting education from university 
they are good enough they are fortunate enough but those who did not able to learn from university from where they should learn what is going on around and what is going on in a, in and around our society nowadays so to cope with the situation cope up with the situation the newspapers are playing an important and vital role and we can get news information we can obviously learn our national language and english newspapers we can also use english newspaper to know and to learn english language as well then roll up magazines through magazine we can learn by articles features interviews short stories and can get very nice literature from there the articles in the magazines maybe of on dramatic literature sports related scientific inventions innovations ideas technological innovations ideas related and so on different types of magazines having different and versatile knowledge of knowledge are disseminating knowledge on that particular field all over the world then what should be the role of book why book is important as we all know book is the best source of education and best reliable source i must say reliable source of education as we we can get the name of the publisher the writer name of the writer publication year and so on a lot of materials of formal and informal education is available in books and mostly students depend upon this medium that is book to learn education or to learn other things on education in spite of modern technology still this medium that is book is popular for the learning or teaching learning process book is equally important for the teachers for the students for the learners for the entrepreneurs for everyone we can have so many informations in internet but we did not rely on all of this because we did not know actual source of this information what they are providing to us so this is why book is unique now come to electronic media in education whenever we are talking about electronic media we can see so many things you know before our eyes these are computer laptops cds tvs radios fms internets dongles modems and so many things so among digital medias the oldest one is radio and this is also playing an important role in education in radio talk shows are very much popular this may be on politics finance and other programs and are the sources of informal education for all of us many personalities scholars professionals professionals come in radio as a chief guest by live calls we can take a lot of information and learn by this way obviously it will also help the students to increase their speaking skills as well and 
reviews are the most common electronic media which is available across our country across the world and which is the cheapest electronic media as well and we may connect by radio communication thousands billions of people within a very short time and we can send messages whatever we want to give with very minimum establishment cost then role of television television is the most powerful media as we all know audio visual impacted much on our brain so television or tv is the most powerful media and that will reach all sorts of people those who have that available television sets and so on it is a source of informal education as obviously tv does play an important role as we all know in shaping a person's life both professionally and personally tv provides to learn so many things like politics political debates business news financial news natural news nature to know about nature natural resources we can learn different languages through dramas movies and so many things we can learn watching tv and we have the opportunity to learn much about all these things as tv provides specialized channels are there nowadays to provide information based on that particular area and different news channels also are helps us to update our basic knowledge and what is going on in and around our world in and around our society and nowadays what is going on how many what is the situation what who is saying right now about corona virus and so on so we are always very much keen to look at the tv screen right now then come to role of films and movies movies is also a source of informal education we can know about different cultures through movies and other societal norms values civilizations and way of living using seeing films movies and films is playing an important role for learning different languages film delivers a moral lesson to the viewers every film says something it's depend upon viewers how and what they should perceive from them many historical films tell us the old history of the nations in a dramatic way films tell us a current situation of the world like terrorism corruption social levels psychological films are there horror films are there and so many films are there and every films gives us some lesson and through this medium informal rather informal agency we can learn so many things of life about life and what oh, and, and what should be the life in the coming days as well now we are moving towards role of internet another most powerful electronic media nowadays the internet has a significant potential for providing children and youth 
with access to educational information and can be compared with a huge home library. As we all know, without internet, most of us will not be capable enough to stay inside our room. And especially this time, we are confined our room, I think one month have already been across. So in such situation, this helps a lot to, to all of us to stay inside the room and to go through what we actually wanted to go through. Regardless of gender, race, age, and geographic location, language, or any disability or any other barrier, internet gives an equal chance to all of us to progress in the field of education. If we are desirous enough to learn something, then internet could be the most beneficial for all of us. For for our own way by using internet we can go for online learning so now during this lockdown period online learning has become more popular and gained momentum online learning has assumed the role of an important media for imparting distance education the most important advantage of online distance education is to earn a degree from one's home or workplace without going and moving anywhere. We can get knowledge and information through charts, maps, graphs, moving images, slides, video clippings and even audio recordings via internet. It helps us to understand the entire syllabus without the help of a teacher. We can have YouTube. So many digital platforms are there, so many digital libraries are there, digital resources are there. As we all know, the government of India has released a list of web addresses, URLs, from where we can get thousands of like, books, important books and information and we can access anytime from our internet, from using internet, from our laptop, desktop or from Android smartphone also. Or smartphones, iOS smartphones also. So, internet has immense importance in our life nowadays, and it will be most powerful in the days to come, considering the present situation. And inter internet as an informal agency of education is most powerful, and will be much, much powerful, much much powerful in the coming days too. Next, role of mobile devices. So, laptop and desktop, we cannot carry everywhere and every time these two gadgets. These are quite bigger in size. Instead, we can use mobile phone or smartphones. The advent of mobile devices have changed the learning method of students. Now students store all their notes in mobiles and studies from it because it's easy and convenient. Now come to teleconferencing. Teleconferencing means telephone meeting among two or more participants through a telecommunication medium. Right? It's a genetic, generic term for linking people between two or more locations by electronics. Teleconferencing consists of a live real-time session between multiple participants within the ability to hear and see each other as well as share data and applications. Simply that. So teleconferencing is an aggregation of audio conferencing video conferencing and data conferencing and includes multiple participants in a live real-time session as good as regular face-to-face -face classroom. This is most important. 
so many telephone types are there like audio conferencing audio graphic conferencing computer conferencing video conferencing and so on audio conferencing it involves transmission of voice only which are amplified at each end by the speaker system then audio graphic conferencing it employs voice plus graphics display capabilities the most frequent used graphics supplemented is a facsimile machine which transmits electrical electronically and reproduces at remote location anything that can be written typed or on paper then video conferencing we all know with this term combines audio and video to provide voice communication and video images can be one way video two way audio or two way video two way audio it can display anything that can be captured by a tv camera then computer conference uses telephone lines to connect two or more computers and modems we can have computer conference anytime anything that can be done in a computer can be sent over the lines it can be synchronous or asynchronous several universities have already started this online course pioneer in this field was ignu but now several universities started distance classes online classes uses various platforms like zooms and so on youtube channels already started by various universities and colleges and educational institutions to provide information so what are the advantages of this why you should go for mass media as an informal agency of education some advantages are there these are most important it saves time content presented by one or many sources is received in many places simultaneously and instantly so whenever we are giving some information in media it is saving much time to reach to the desired location saving time it's most important advantage of mass media then lower cost cost of travels meals lodging etc are reduced through this medium because once you have the setup any time you can have the access to learn without additional cost or recurring cost every day then accessibility in physical classes we can have only few lip seats sitting capacity and few accessibility fewer distance students can come and sit for the class but in case of mass media communication through any originating site in the world through throughout the world students could come and communicate and connect with the class and mass media is such a medium where accessibility is the main advantage and the number of audience the target audience the larger audience this is the another advantage that is larger audiences more people and most people more people much much more people can attend class without any sitting capacity or seat capacity inside the room next advantage is adaptable adaptability useful for institutions to discuss inform train educate or present something before the students and flexibility this is another advantage receive site can be located anywhere you can stay anywhere you can stay learn from home you can learn from road you can learn from any other state or distant place 
and you have the right to learn you can save the videos you can save the information and later on you can write it and you can learn it the flexibility is there then the security you, there is a security also password protected security you can provide so no one can access your information until unless the admin wants that you should access that one so security is a great concern no one will be able to see your information and unity as well advantage another advantage is unity because it provides a shared sense of identity we all are sharing information we are a shared human being for our vested interest of humanity so this is another advantage of mass media as an informal agency of education next one timely so for time critical information so something we have to inform right now so how should we connect we may connect we, we should be able to connect through this media right now we are disseminating some information in whatsapp or facebook or in any other platform so within a few seconds thousands of persons will be able to learn all these things without wasting much time this is timely time is also important advantage of this medium and interactive dynamic uh, interactivity is also there in case of especially tele video conferencing dynamic dynamism is there and requires the users active participation in case of video conferencing students have the ability should the capacity they have the facility to communicate with each other each teacher with each other and with teacher student to consult something to discuss something and to find out and to enrich their knowledge then we, ha we have seen already so many advantages are there right now some limitations are also there for this media for this agency of education have a look on that first one initial cost of equipments are very high obviously as we all know the initially whenever we will be able to we will like to start a digital classroom or digital platform for this we have to pay a high cost at the initial stage and this is always not possible for all of us to provide such money at the very beginning stage after that we can have the option to avail the service but at the initial stage it is not affordable for all of us this is one of the problem especially for the countries like ours where we are living in such socio-economic condition which does not permit always number two difficult sometimes it is very difficult for complex interpersonal communication interpersonal communication is important and it motivates huge so always it is not possible to connect and to communicate interpersonally through this medium In socialization Social, we generally socialize ourselves through face-to-face -face communication but whenever we are not facing face-to-face -face, then socialization socializing will be less than usual face-to-face -face mode and true dialogues among the participants impeded by the unfamiliar often imitating technology without we have to go for technology but side by side in human interference is most important when we must not disregard this human interference and human face-to-face -face practice as we all know this mass media communication is a one-way communication except uh, teleconferencing the one way unidirectional communication we are disseminating some information for the students but whether the students are learn or learning 
they are capable of learning we don't know we are just sending information for the students but if they have the some queries some questions regarding this they will not be able to ask this time so this is one serious important issue also in this informal agency of education media as media so at last in conclusion we can it can be said that the effect of media is vast on our daily life of each and every individual and media has opened a new dimension and has gave a new meaning to education if we are desires if we are eager enough to learn something of our choice then media could be the option with the ongoing development of information and technology in the society media has given particular attention to the need of education and cultural diversity and promoted media consciousness among individual this is most important and using this mass media devices education has become more entertaining like never before because now we can use videos audio video clippings audio clippings so many things we can show before students to familiarize and to attract students much on that particular topic on that particular issue so mass media as an informal agency of education as the most and viable inf agency of education informal agency of education nowadays and we should not disregard neglect this media and if we are really willing to learn something beyond classroom definitely we have to go for mass media learning thank you so much for listening the class thank you once again